What is modern heritage? It's a bit of a contradictory question because modern implies change, innovation, but heritage implies tradition and consistency and convention. How do we even answer this from a photographic standpoint? My name is Ming Thien. I'm a commercial photographer, philosopher, and Hasselblad Global Ambassador. Many of you will know me from my online musings at mingthien.com. But what you might not know is I'm also Malaysian, living in Malaysia, and witness to the mixed changes our aspiring and developing country has undergone and is undergoing over the last few years. As photographers, it's our responsibility to do several things. Firstly, we must observe, we must look at the world around us. If we can't see it, we can't capture it, and if we can't capture it, we most certainly can't share it. Next, we've got to ask ourselves why. And in asking ourselves why, we find that story and find the essence of that story so that we can distill it down to its barest components and make it visible to an audience that might not have otherwise seen it. With so much going on in the country today, it feels like there's no time like the present. I chose the location of Penang to spend a few days with the Hasselblad X1D because it's a place which I felt was both an interesting microcosm representing the way the country might develop and also a good mirror for the whole concept of the camera and the paradox of modern heritage. Penang is an island city off the western coast of Peninsula Malaysia. It's a place that many of us Malaysians associate with holidays on the beach in their youth, a concentrated but bustling commercial culture, and of course, good food from any one of our many principal cultures. It's a place in which you can find peace in nature or energy in creativity. The people somehow manage to preserve tradition whilst encouraging a little bit of innovation and free enterprise. There are links here to the past that are never ignored but instead celebrated and integrated into the way forward. At the same time, the island lifestyle persists. It feels like nothing's really that hurried, the sun is almost always shining, and there's plenty of nature and greenery to be found if you're looking. It's a finely balanced paradox, much like the whole concept of modern heritage. Whilst there are some aspects of life that haven't changed in decades, there's a whole reinterpretation of traditional spaces that's now taking place for more and more modern purposes, like the redevelopment of the clan jetties or the UNESCO World Heritage Site and the traditional clan houses. A lot of these places now serve as restaurants and cafes or guest houses. Almost all of them are preserved with some, if not most, elements of the original decor and personality in order to offer visitors an authentic glimpse into what life used to be like 50, 100 years ago. The X1D is much the same. Personally, I began my medium format journey with film as a user of Hasselblad's legendary V system. The system resemblance and the family resemblance, actually, was very, very apparent on receiving the camera. From the front, it reminded me strongly of an SWC I owned at one point, but of course much thinner and lacking the film back. It's more modern, it's more purposeful. It's the essence of V distilled down. And like the V system, the X1D has a minimum of external controls, but it really wants for nothing. It's deliberately uncomplicated, and in today's world of complex feature overload, it's actually very refreshingly simple, which leads you to focus entirely on the, making the image. I keep coming back to this concept of simplicity and this distillation of image or essence or you know how do we pare away all of the unnecessary stuff to leave only a, a clear message. That's something which I think is very important in both photography and the tools you use to create your images. It's something which is important to me because I don't want to concentrate on things that don't matter or things that perhaps don't have a strong impact on the final outcome. It's important because if I want you to see what I'm imagining in the photograph, then I have to be able to show it to you very clearly. Most of the time, I use the H system for my professional and personal work. And I admit there are times I would really like to carry a little bit less weight and operate with a bit more stealth. 
the X1D delivers on that. It's basically the same camera as the H6 without the modularity but shrunken down significantly. The features are the same. The image quality is the same. The sensor and the imaging pipeline is the same. The lenses I think are absolutely top notch. They deliver at a level that's commensurate with their impressive MTF charts and personally I became very fond of the 90mm for both its perspective and very smooth out of focus foreground rendering which is great for the kind of cinematic documentary work that I tend to do quite a bit of. In use, it felt a lot more like the spiritual success, not the age, but really Victor Hasselblad's original concept of what the V camera should have been. The original V camera was meant to be a lightweight, high quality, focused photographer's tool. The X1D is much the same as that. In my quest to answer for myself photographically, what is the essence of Penang and modern heritage? I stretched the camera under a very wide range of conditions as you can see. Everything from bright, high contrast situations, to long exposures, to working under almost no light, to using speed lights under highly controlled studio conditions. To me, the real test of a camera is not so much in the quantitative numbers, but the X1D does deliver on that very, very, very convincingly. But it's more about the qualities that are pragmatic. Firstly, can it deliver under a wide range of different shooting conditions? Does it work with you? Does it become intuitive rather than testing you and challenging you? Does it force you to want to go out and take pictures because you feel inspired and you feel like you can create something with the tool? Does it deliver image quality that's good enough for the most demanding of applications? Which is, of course, large, high quality print. I think, as they say, you can see for yourself, the proof is very much in the print. At the end of this trip, I was left with the thought that modern heritage is not a contradiction. It's the result of the application of new ideas and knowledge, but with the benefit of experience. This is the Hasselblad X1D.